Alright, fam. <laughs> so look, it's my turn to speak, right? Like, I didn't say nothing publicly. I was gonna let the music speak for itself. You know what I mean? Plus, it leaves people on the edge of their seat. Like, what's going on? They might want to tune in more and listen to music. You know what I mean? But what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm not going to be all long and drawn out and boring about it. Shit. I ain't going to bore you to death. I'm going to get straight to the point. Even though, like, I, if y'all want to know, like, all the details which led up to this point, if I tell that story, it's going to end a lot of friendships. It's going to burn a lot of bridges. But if y'all want to know all the shit that transpired behind the scenes, I'll let y'all know. And I... I have no right to withhold any information from y'all because y'all have been over here supporting. So I'll let y'all know if y'all want to know. But right now, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, right? One of the main reasons that what happened on L. Dot Show, I heard a portion of the video, and certain people, they leaving, right? Or left or whatever. I don't play. I take this shit seriously. Every beat you heard me rap on, and that's what I be doing behind the scenes. Every beat you heard, I'm leasing or I'm buying I, from day one. I'm It's ownership. You understand? Promoting, marketing, putting your money behind you. Pushing your brand. It takes more than just rapping over somebody else's beat and uploading it on YouTube. You know what I mean? And then going live and, and talking about a bunch of current events or whatever. And hey, listen to this song I'm rapping on right here. This beat. Somebody else property I, I never paid this person nothing i never you know what i mean i'm just rapping on they shit it takes more than that you feel me and then like nobody can dictate over here it's not a, it's not no dictatorship type thing going on you can't dictate what other mcs the mcs y'all gonna see me pushing up on they under bsm i got new shooters coming and i'm not dictating what they rap about tell your story let the world hear your story. I'm behind you. I'm standing with you. I'm not going to try to tell you, nah, you, you shouldn't talk about how you was out there in the streets hustling and this and that. You know what I mean? And the shit that you've seen, the horrific shit you've been through. I'm not trying to dictate nothing over here. But I noticed, though, a lot of niggas been wanting to, to dictate and run something when they can't even get their own shit off the ground. You understand? Nah, I put too much energy for the last three years behind this, you know what I mean, to make this shit legit. I'm trying to compete and build a legacy like The Wu, like Mob D, like uh, Dog Pound, Death Row, uh, NWA. I'm trying to push BSM to be against the, the norm, what's being pushed out there right now in music, in the music industry, and preserve trying to preserve real hip-hop culture you know what i mean i'm fighting an uphill battle and to have niggas with me that's not really serious nah bro that shit ends man i believe in niggas more than they believe in themselves you know i remember um we's making the third album i'm just giving y'all one story out of many i was like yeah we need to start putting this money together for promotion and marketing and shit you know what i mean so we could push this album and old boy was like, well, it was up to me. We just put the album out, and that'd be it. You know, I ain't, no, I ain't fuck the promoting. I'm like, what? I understand, you know, you got stamp collectors, niggas that collect comic books and shit. You know, it's just a hobby to them, you know? People make music, and it's just for a hobby, but not for me. It started off as a hobby when I was a kid. But I'm actually out here... I'm trying to create something. I'm not just playing with it. Life is too short, man. Time, it's time for black people to own shit. You feel me? I remember my nigga L Dot. He was like, yo, when we gonna start buying beats though? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah. But yeah, from volume one to volume three, I own those beats. Or I lease them. You know what I mean? So I can monetize those songs. You understand? And I think niggas had issues with that. That I'm doing this And I'm asking everybody else well, Let's do this And as far as promoting They don't want to promote They think promoting is just uploading a song And then going live on YouTube And talking about Mary Jane and Beyonce And then playing the song a few times That's the difference But from this day forth Just know Every artist that y'all see over here They're really serious artists It's no play play shit 
You know what I mean? And I hope y'all continue to support Black Sector Mafia, Black Sector Media Marketing, Black Sector Movement. The M stands for multiple, multiple different things. And if y'all want the long story, comment below. And I'll decide if I should go ahead and tell that story. It's some shit. But yeah, I'm signing off, man. Port City. Black TMZ. Black Sector Mafia. Oh, and Killer Inc. That's another st Death Row. That's another story. Hey, let me know if y'all want to know the full story. We'll get into it. Um, Till then, I'm gone. Peace.